Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey, hey guys, it is Leah from Leah Noel Design Co. And I know it's October, um, but we are gonna work on some Christmas ornaments today. And my reasoning for this is because those of you guys that uh, do small crafts, maybe you own a store, maybe you have a booth, maybe you sell on Etsy, um, this is the time of year you're thinking about crafting for Christmas. So I went to the dollar store this morning and I grabbed these ornaments. And this also got me thinking because these ornaments are at your Dollar Tree for a dollar and they sell fast. I bought a whole box because last year I went and bought like five and then I went back later and they were all gone. Um, but these usually sell out before Halloween. So I'm going to use this bulb. They're, they're cool because you can actually take the top off them um, and you can fill them with stuff like snow or like you know, one year I think my daughter did like a Christmas craft and they like shoved her picture in here at school. Um, and they're cool, but I've also made some really cool high end looking, I don't know if they like high end ornaments. I'm going to say they're high end, very high end ornaments with Prima, um, molds. Um, I'm trying to get this thing back in here. Say hi as you guys come on, um, with Prima molds and with a little bit of paint and wax. The decor waxes. Now I can't shove this. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Go back in. Go back in. I'm trying to get my little top back in. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna mess with this first. Another suck it. There we go. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera down, um, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna talk all about molds today. So let me know if you can see. Okay. I'm just gonna get the camera adjusted. And I'm gonna turn it. Um, I don't know. Can you guys, you guys can't see these ones, can you? Okay. Um, so I'm noticing that these ones are a little bit hard to see on camera. They are, these are the Christmas, well, there we go. Now you can see these are the Christmas molds from Redesign with Prima. This is silver bells. Okay. So you can actually just make these molds and paint them. And I'm going to show you how these are kind of what they look like when they're done. These are some that I've painted already with a little bit of paint and decor wax. These are my new Christmas colors, pink and green instead of red and green. I'm doing pink and green. Except I'm not even going to be decorating for Christmas this year because we're moving and I put all my Christmas stuff in storage already. So I want to talk about molds today, using them on ornaments and um, what different mediums you can use. Molding material uh, is a redesign with Prima product. I do not believe that we carry it anymore. I do like to show products that we don't always carry on the website anymore because a lot of your retailers still have this on their, um, in their stores. Um, and then we're also going to use resin. Okay. So we're going to use casting resin and I used casting resin on this mold right here. And I'm going to go ahead and peel it out for you to see. So this one I, I did about 10 minutes ago. Okay. And as you, when you're working with these, um, the resin is way more durable than like the molding material. Okay. And you can also get like a molding material or like air dry clay at Michael's. Um, but this is going to be a lot more like firm opposed to using the molding material. So I'm going to go ahead and like set this here. I'm setting it on a flat surface. When you're using molds, generally, if you peel them out, um, after you peel, peel them out, they have a little bit of flex to them and you can add them to like flexible surfaces. You see that flex right there? I don't know if, you, there we go. I have to catch that light right. Um, you can, you can adhere them to like surfaces, but if you're not going to, like I want these to be straight, I need to set them on a flat surface. So I'm going to set these right here. Okay. But these are the redesign with Prima. This one is Victorian adornments and they come out just like this. And then this one is silver bells and this one comes out like this and I don't have the other bell, but they're really cute. You could just hang them on your tree. And in fact, we are going to have all of these on our tree this year because all of my ornaments are in storage. Um, I'm going to put the, I'm actually going to put the, um, I'm going to put this on the bulb. I'm going to do both of these, but first I'm going to show you guys how to pour the resin. Okay. And we're gonna pour the resin in 
the in this mold here. I know this mold is a little bit hard to see, but you really don't have to see it in order to figure out what I'm doing. So what I like to do is I buy these little shot glasses. So there's two ways you could do molds. Two ways that I know that I do molds. Um, you could use the molding material or air dry clay, you, or you could use casting resin. I buy mine from Illuminite, and I get these little shot glasses from GFS Marketplace. I also have bought these from the dollar store, okay? But they're a lot bigger, and what I find is that my resin, when I'm pouring molds with these bigger ones, because I pour each equal parts into each cup, when I use these bigger ones, I don't have enough time to pour it in here before it starts to get hard. So I found these little shot glasses at GFS Marketplace, Gordon Food Services, which I don't know if you guys have one of those locally to you, but just small shot glasses. So this is part one, which is the resin. Okay, so this is called A, and I buy them, I buy these in the gallon. They have smaller ones that you can buy, uh, but I always prefer to buy them in the gallon because I do use a lot of molds. So for the gallon sizes, um, for this kit, it's like $110. You can get these on, like $110 for both of these. You could get it on Joe's Art Supply Cheap or Illuminite. Um, you can just get it there too. Or you could just order Amazing Casting Resin off Amazon and, and just get the smaller box for like 20 bucks if you just want to try it out. So what I do is I just pour it in, okay? And if I'm doing, and I'm gonna mix it for 15 seconds. And if I'm doing multiple molds, I will use my same cup as long as I'm pouring the same, like A back into the little A cup and part B back into the little part B cup. Um, I will use the same cups. So I'm making less trash, but I always grab a new popsicle stick and I always grab a new blue cup. So that's mixed. We're going to go ahead and pour it in. So as I pour it in, it's starting to get hot already. I like to use my stick to kind of move it. I want to get the product out and then move it. Okay. This should actually just kind of meet the needs of this. And I'm just going to drip a little bit in here. And usually if I have a little bit of extra, I'm just gonna pour it in here. I don't like to waste it. I usually always have like, um, let me give you an example. That was just there and if I waited, it wouldn't have worked, but I usually keep a small mold. Let me give you an example. Um, I keep a mold like this around or something with some small items that I could just pour that extra resin in. But this one was on the table, so I just used that. So now that it's in here, I'm just gonna use my stick and I'm gonna move my resin around and make sure it's touching all the edges. You could use a toothpick, but the stick's easier because it's already out, right? And we're just gonna let this set. This is gonna be about 10 minutes, okay? So that is how you do it with the resin. Your other option is um, molding material. So I just poured resin in here, so this might make this a little hard, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use the molding material. I like the redesign with Primo molding material because it's, it's the easiest one I've used. It's much easier than air dry clay. So talk to your retailer and see if they have any. Um, I'm just taking a chip brush and putting a little bit of cornstarch in here, especially if you end up using like, if you end up using like air dry clay, you're gonna want to make sure that you use the cornstarch because the air dry clay is a little bit stickier. Okay, so I just put a little bit of cornstarch in here. And I'm gonna grab some of my molding material. and I'm gonna put my lid right back on. It will start to dry right away. I put this on, I put this, I put this mold in here about 10 minutes before I went to, I went live and it started to air dry right away. So um, 
you know, if you have like an apron or something and you could put this in a plastic bag and stick it in your pockets, I would do that because you want to kind of like warm it up with your hands. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this, I'm going to push this in here. And we're actually going to glue this onto the piece, onto our bulb. This is my favorite one. I The, the angel, we're going to use the angel, which is also known as... I didn't write the name on the back because I just opened it. What's it also known as here? Divine Floral. Um, Divine Floral just seemed kind of Christmas Christmassy to me because it's like a baby angel. Um, but these burlesque swirls make a really pretty ornament. In fact, last last year I made an ornament using the burlesque I, I don't know if I'm saying it right um swirls this one this one I'm using right here and I went back to the dollar store to buy more bulbs and the bulbs were gone they were totally gone and so this year I was like I am getting those bulbs and I'm putting some swirls on it and I'm giving them as Christmas gifts these are just nice Christmas gifts to give to like um I like to give them to my aunts you know like I really don't buy my aunt's Christmas gifts because it's just, there's just so many people in our family, but I like to give them something. So I usually try to make something like this to give. Um, if you have a small booth, these are a great, oh, see, I'm getting into that resin. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea to pour this resin in here. I should have just let it go to waste. Um, but if you have a booth, this is a great booth item. Also, if you do um, parties in your booth or if you do classes, this would be a really fun class to do as well. So I'm just going to try to stay away from my, my resin that I put there. Once that resin's in there, you can't peel it out until it's dry. Otherwise, it's just a sticky mess. So do you see I'm just kind of like pushing it away and in, and then I'm collecting it up in my hand. And I'm just trying to kind of even it out. Okay, so we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this sit for a minute. The reason I like to let it sit is because I, it's, it's a little bit easier to work with if you just let it dry in there for a little bit. I'm gonna put the rest of my molding material back and I'm just gonna click my lid on. And then we're gonna talk about glues and adhering them to your bulb. We're gonna grab some tape as well. Okay, so. Um, we have our, we have our bulb and we have glue. These are the two glues I like. E6000, which I used a lot last year. And then there's tight bound quick and thick, which I prefer. It smells a lot less and it just seems easier to use. So we're going to use tight bond. Um, but I have the E6000 too. And I just want to give you guys some options. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my plate here. I'm going to start my tape up a little bit and I kind of know how I want this to go on and I want to actually glue it to my bulb last year when I did this what I did is I like what I did is I I took this out wet and I placed it on the bulb and I taped it on 
to create, to like form to the bulb. Well, what happened is it dried and it shriveled up and it got raised on the bulb. Okay, so that was my mistake. Um, and then I thought I would go back on and glue it. Well, it, it dry, when, when the air dry clay dries, it really shrinks a lot. So you wanna glue it on and you wanna wait a few days before you paint it. Notice there's no paint on here. So I don't wanna paint this until after, um, until after it's, it's dried. I'll probably let it dry for quite a few days. So I'm gonna take this, I was thinking about do, leaving this in here to, to do it, but I think I'm gonna take it out so I don't get glue on my mold. And I used my cornstarch, so it just fell right out. Okay, that cornstarch helps a lot. And I can kind of flip, I can kind of pull off any pieces I don't want on there. And I'm gonna turn this baby around, literally. And I'm gonna paint some glue on her, him. So when I use my paintbrush for glue, I always use a throwaway brush. Um, and this molding material is gonna create kind of a crackled look. So just be aware um, that you are gonna have a worn crackled look, which is actually kind of cool. And I'm just gonna place it on here. Just wanna make it a little easier. Okay. So I don't, I'm gonna move it around. And I also wanna get this on here as well. And it's gonna fit just fine. So, oh, I also wanna finish off, this thing kind of fell off, so I'm just gonna get a little glue on it and stick it on. I don't know that I'll need tape, I, since we have this handy dandy little cup trick here. You can always take a baby wipe to wipe up some of that glue if you want to. Ooh. And then this one, I'm gonna put the, the clay, the glue on. We're gonna put the glue on this one. Okay. In the when you're using the molding material it's a lot easier to form down. I could not, even if I pulled my resin out when it was super pliable, I could not. Turning this down helps. Does that help with the lighting a little bit? The lighting, I think I'm, I'm directly under the light today, so I apologize. I actually, in my new shop, I have natural light, so this will be so much easier to see. Um, but I, it, with the resin, I could not form resin around a ball like this, so. Keep that in mind when you're creating your pieces. 
that the molding material or air dry clay is going to be your best friend when you're trying to do this. So I'm literally just going to like hold it and I'm going to adhere it really well. Um, and it's, this is going to be the front. I'm, I could use, I could, I could glue these to the back as well, but I'm not going to. And the reason is, is because I want to kind of let this sit in the cup to dry. Cause I think it's just going to be so much easier. Um, and I'm not going to worry about taping it down. I think that it's gonna, that tight bond quick and thick is going to be fine. I'm going to come back to it if I need to. Okay. I'm going to trim the little tag off this cause it's driving me crazy. Okay, so let's use the Barique Squirrels. Wait, Barique Swirls. Oh my goodness, so fun on these names. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is some of this is, some of this I kind of got a little funny, so I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit and I'm gonna pull these out. And the, this one I might have to take. So I'm just gonna pull both of my pieces out. My resin here is still not dry. I'm gonna trim my edges anywhere where I have a little bit of extra clay. I'm just gonna pull it off. Okay, and we're gonna do the same kind of thing, um, except one's gonna come one way and, one, and the other one's gonna come the other. So this one will cover the whole bulb. This is a great one for the bulbs, for the Dollar Tree bulbs. And I really encourage you guys, if you want to do this craft, um, get to your Dollar Tree because they're going to be gone. These bulbs go so fast. Last year I was like, oh my, I went to like, I went to so many different Dollar Trees. I, 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 I probably, I have one, two, three, about four or five Dollar Trees that I can go to. Five actually, you know, that like in between, like around me within like, you know, a 20 mile radius that I can go buy these from. And all of them were out last year. And so get them while you can. I was hoping to actually find pumpkins in there today and I didn't, no pumpkins. They were out of pumpkins. So us crafters know where to buy our little crafty stuff. I want to make sure I'm getting my edges with the glue. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this on the cup just because it's easier for it to hold. All of this little stuff here, I'm not going to worry about it so much. You can wipe that off with a baby wipe, um, but it's just going to, honestly, to me, that's a little extra texture to the piece. I might even hit this little crackle. Um, and then in these empty spots, I'm going to use this from the last one just to fill some of this emptiness over here. And again, I don't even know if I'm going to need tape. I'm thinking about how I did this last year and I didn't have the glue, but tight bond quick and thick is really good um, and it dries quick. So I don't even think I'm going to really need the, I don't even think I'm going to need the tape. So I got my rows there. And I'm going to put. This one over here. And 
there we go. That's, that's done. So as I'm in my shop today and I have these out, I'll just kind of keep checking them and I'll just make sure they're adhered well really for the first 15 minutes because that's like the glue is going to dry the glue is going to dry before the before the air dry molding material well so i'm i can kind of see through the bulb so i just want to make sure my glue is spread um as much as possible let me take this off so I can see underneath here, which is kind of cool, but I just want to make sure it's spread as much as possible um, and that my edges are glued down. Like I can see right here that this little angel thingamabobber has no glue on it. So I'm just going to add a little glue, just a little bit, just put it back down. Um, and I'm going to let that dry. I'll do the same thing with this one. And then let's pull these out just because we can. This is the, let me bring it closer. See if I, there we go. Um, and then these are, this is silver balls, okay? Ooh, that top's not dry yet, so I'm gonna leave that in there because I want that loop. I want that loop up there. This one's a little better. So I just wanted to make sure that my loop stayed intact. Um, and I'm just going to lay that right here. Let me see if I can get this one out. Mm. Oh, nope. I broke it. I should have left it to stay. Um, let me see if I can pinch it together. We'll see if that holds, but there you have it. And those are painted just like this with decor waxes. So, whew. okay. So I, um, I will, I may not post these until Christmas. We'll see. I'm going to actually work on some ornaments today. So the resin didn't bend enough around the ornaments. No, it, it, it didn't. Um, resin doesn't bend around the ornaments. That's why like the, the bulbs I use the, um, I use the air dry clay, but I probably don't know if I'll post these on my page till Christmas. So what I want to tell you guys, if you follow me at Leah Noel Design Co, watch my stories. They're on Instagram and they're on Facebook. They, they post simultaneously. And that's where I give a lot of my like tips and tricks and you'll see progress photos and those types of things. So if you're really interested in what they look like or you know how they're coming along throughout the day, every day that I'm in the shop, I do post on my stories um, and keep you updated there. You know, just like the behind the scenes type things, the things that don't quite make it to a post. Um, so check, check me out there. And um, I give a lot of like just tips and fun stuff there. So, all right, you guys, I am going to work in my shop today. I'm super excited. I have, it's been a long time since I've had like a whole day in the shop. Um, but that's what I plan on doing today. So I hope you guys had fun today, this afternoon. I will not be here for the next two weeks. I will be on vacation. Um, but I will be back in November to do more crafts with you guys. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So, all right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.